Hi guys, this is the Mathematics Tutorial class. Today class is to focus on how to find the solid sets of solving linear equation. So the find the solid sets of an equation is 2x minus 3 over 2 minus 5x minus 3 over 3, which is equal to 5 over 4. Uh, as you know, you have to apply different techniques just like uh, how to add or subtract fractions. So the instant point is uh, giving one example, like 4 over 5 minus 2 over 2. So how to compute this fraction? Now, you have to apply different techniques. For instance, maybe the first technique is using cross product method. Cross product method means you have to multiply 4 by 2 is 8 minus 5 by 3 is 50 and then 5 over 5 times 2 is 10. Uh, then the next step is what is this difference? 8 minus 50. That means negative uh, 7. Why the reason is negative 7? As you know, the rule of uh, addition with different sign. First, subtract the number. That means 50 minus 8. 50 minus 8 is 7. Now you are looking the greater number sign. So the greater number sign is uh, negative. So that is put the negative sign. Then the whole over 10. So <coughs> the answer is negative 7 over 10. Now let us come to our question. 2x minus 3 over 2 and 5x minus 3 over 3 is you have to apply cross product method. Now close the bracket, open the bracket here and then 2x minus 3 and this multiplied by 2 by uh, 5x minus 3 first put negative sign and then 2, 2, close the bracket 5 minus 3, okay? The whole over the whole over 6, it gives us 5 over 4. One next, so the next step is uh, this value 3 is both multiplying 2x and 3 because you have to apply distributive property. Now, 3 times 2x is 6x. By the way, just leave it, the value of x. Only focus on the coefficient of x, that means 3 times 2. Then 6, just write x by itself. And then put the negative sign before multiplying the number. So 3 times 3 is 9. So why the reason is 9? Because positive times negative is negative. Then the next step is 2 times 5 is 3x. Because negative times positive is negative. So put 10x. The next step is negative times negative is, is positive, positive, down, 2 times 3 is 6, the whole over, the whole over uh, 6, which is equal to 5 over 4. The next step is collect like terms. Now, 6x minus 10x plus 6 minus 9 will give us the whole over 6. Give us 5 over 4. Now 6 minus 10. That means 6 minus 10. 6 minus 10 means without considering the quotient, 6 minus 10 is uh, negative 4. Because 10 minus 6 is 4, and then have to put the negative side, negative 4. So negative 4x. Uh, again, 6 minus 9. 6 minus 9 is first subtract the number 9 minus 6. 9, 9 minus 6 is 3. Now we are looking, uh, as I told you before, 9 minus 3 is already 6 is 3, and 9 is positive or negative. As you know, 9 is negative, so we have to put negative sign. So negative 3 over 6 gives us 5 over 4. So the next step is applying cross product method. Now, 4 into negative 4x minus 3, which is equal to 30. Because 6 times 5 is just 30. Now, 4 times 4 is negative 60x. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12, which is equal to 30. So the next step is uh, collect like terms. Collect like terms 
negative 16 x is equal to 13 plus 12. So negative 16 x is equal to uh, 13 plus 12 is 40. Now divide by both sides by negative 16 and negative 16. Negative 16 has to by negative 16. So x is equal to x is equal to negative 42 over 16. That means 21 over 8 for the simplest expression. Because any mean equation, any fraction, uh, finally you have to put, you have to put always, always, always the simplest form. So the answer is negative 21 over 8 is the final answer. Maybe finally you have to check the value is negative 21 over 8. This is all about uh, how to solve the linear equation. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye.